Hello. You already know what we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into these messages and see what our Eleanor would like us to know at this time. Sneaky going on. What would our um Elohim like us to know at this time? We have the Hierophant, the Empress, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. And the seven of swords again like i said something sneaky somebody that's in some sort of partnership with somebody um is being very sneaky um they could be getting juggled at this time there could be a lot of fights and arguments a lot of competition a lot of lies a lot of backstabbing a lot of underhandedness a lot of sneakiness we have taurus and libra a lot of action. There's being taken to get this six of wands, to get this victory here. Betrayal. Manipulation. Eight of swords. I'm telling you, somebody crazy as fuck in this partnership. Two of cups, and they try to hide it with the moon. We have Aries and Cancer, Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Libra. Somebody might end up going to jail or getting locked up somehow, either physically or spiritually. But somebody got hidden intentions within this partnership. Very deceptive energy, very, very highly manipulative. Like, it's extreme. Somebody is very superficial and unawakened. Highly materialistic. could have told somebody to lay the rest of communication with talking with somebody or they laid the rest of their communication with a king of swords they was infatuated infatuated and in fear about a king of swords So this person was being like some type of hoe or something with another man. This person had communication that they feared would get out. Or they did something sneaky to cause some chaos. Either they was dealing with this man or something. We about to find out. Was this um, person that's in this higher form of commitment dealing with a king of swords? And, and they laid this communication to rest out of fear. Yeah, this 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 woman that's in this uh, higher form of commitment could be a Taurus, a Libra, double confirmation of a Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Aries. This woman was in a higher form of commitment with somebody, a partnership. But they, and this is the partnership that they in though, you know? It's the partnership that's known. This the partnership that's hidden. <laughs> oh man. This hoe was communicating 
with this King of Swords, but they laid that communication to rest. But they was having harmony with each other, planning with each other too. It was some romance going on. Mm-hmm. Look, King of Wands, because this did and they was working together. They both karmic as hell too. But that's why this now King of Swords, King of Wands. These people was working together somehow. They both materialistic. But this person was having bliss and fulfillment. They said that they had to let this King of Swords go. Ultimate betrayal. Because they was betraying who they was dating. Ten of Swords to the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Confirmation. So whoever they was dating in, in this higher form of commitment with. <laughs> ultimate betrayal. And honey, this whole sad that they had to let go of their king of swords. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is a sneaky lion backstabbing, conniving ass. What I say? Hurt that she had to leave this motherfucker out in the cold and lay the rest that communication. She loved communicating with this king of swords. And she betrayed this man who she was getting a victory with. Look at it. Look at this. Ten of Swords to the Knight of Cups. To the Knight of Swords. Because that's who she was taking action towards. Six of Wands. To the King of Pentacles. This is who she was in this higher form of commitment with. But she was dating this one, but then she would run off and take action and get a victory with this other one. This other one could be like, both of these men could be businessmen or providers or something like that. Or one of them is, one of them is in the business or something. But this woman that travels towards this man, so go on and get a victory. This person got a knight of cups and a knight of, and a knight of swords that she was dealing with. Betraying both of them. But she want the victory with one of them and she want the one to be her husband. This was um we'll see if it come out. I ain't gonna say nothing about it. We'll see if it come out. Yeah, this a greedy hoe. A greedy possessive hoe. Yeah, she trying to hold on to this King of Pentacles. And she's burdened and stressed out about this man finding out about her, her pleasures and what she be into. What she be doing. Because she also be doing something to make this person stuck to her ass, too. And she's stressed out about this person finding out what would be going on. Mm-hmm. Somebody heart gonna break. Because somebody being spiritually guided to head in a different direction. To get justice here. Well, only the way to walk uh to get justice is to walk away. So yeah, somebody building something with somebody. Somebody got some sort of foundation or was gonna create some sort of family or something like that. But somebody gonna be defeated in whatever this is, five of swords. Somebody been in denial about what's been going on here. Straight denial. They don't want they, they don't want this person to swim over the karma waters and to heal. 
this person don't want nobody this person don't want this person to have a winner a window of opportunity to do that this woman want this man to stay in these illusions and that's the truth ace of swords don't want this man to have no breakthrough and clarity because then the plans did this person because they this person only looking out for themselves selfish as fuck for their own well-being and their own fulfillment this hoe a fool and a hoe knight of wands <sighs> they only worry about their own well-being and their own selfish fulfillment and that's the truth That's the foundation that is being laid. Selfishness. Somebody then got into a higher form of commitment with a whore. Just playing their ass with another man. But they, they didn't got spooked. They didn't got in fear because of some form of communication about them fucking with this knight of uh this king of swords, king of wands, knight of swords. So they left it out in the cold, but they ain't they ain't too happy about having to leave they they little boo out in the cold that they was fucking on and taking action with. They ain't too happy about that. But somebody about to have to learn a lesson about who they decided to partner up with. With this world energy. It's somebody karma. Because they in the third party. This page of cups is in the third party. Page of cups. Knight of cups is in the third party. And this is their karma. Five of cups. So this man might end up finding out that his, um, his baby, his sweetheart, <laughs> been fucking on somebody else. And put him in a third party with a king of swords. A Gemini Libra Aquarius. So somebody is about to lose their the happiness that they thought they had for a long ass time. This person thought they was happy for so long. That they was happy for so long because they woman was fucking somebody else. So she was getting her fulfillment, staying happy, smiling and grinning. While this man thought he had a fucking prize. Boy had hope and faith in this person. Look, King of Cups, love this woman. Put all his hope and faith in this woman. Even renewed something with this woman. Committed to this woman. But this woman... Had a side dude. Ooh. This man was even defending this woman. <laughs> but there was a secret. With the high priestess. It's a secret. There was something hidden here, but this man stood his ground and was given to, you know, the person that he renewed something with, that he committed to, worked with, stood his ground. It was equal give and take. Not really, but you know, that was the illusion that it was balanced. Somebody could have conceived a baby, too. This man gave this woman his Ace of Cups and his Ace of Pentacles, his love and his money. Fifth 
felt like it was going to be some sort of, like he was going to get good news and a return on his investment with this person he got in a higher form of commitment with. But maybe this might, maybe this embarrassment, this man feel embarrassed. Because this man was parading this person around. Like it was just good news that he was with this person. But this person was a whole, whole plan. Of. So this man is embarrassed. The Emperor to the Nine of Swords. Embarrassed or will be. But this may transform this man. This may be something that transformed this man. Help him out. Teach this man to use his intuition and his wisdom. not really friends lovers i'm i'm a p i'm cheating <laughs> somebody was staking a claim on whatever this is somebody was only using somebody for stability money user so somebody is not really lovers they fr so this person could be acting like this other man is her friend they not really friends they lovers this person a player and they was cheating somebody only using somebody for stability and money and then this this is who somebody was staking a claim with Honey, and somebody don't even feel like what they did was wrong either. Somebody, uh, insurance money killer? Hell nah. Lust and temptation? You better uh, be careful if y'all got some insurance policies out on each other. Because it don't look too good. Somebody or somebody in this relationship be killing people for insurance money policies. Okay, yeah, this person show love privately, probably was showing love privately to this other man that they was dealing with. Yep, somebody got hidden motives. Situationships, third parties, sex buddies and shit. Somebody might end up passing away. One of these people might end up passing away. Somebody also in this situation is a uh, gay, bi, or a lesbian, or in the trans people or something. Somebody feel like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, because somebody still craves attention from a village. But these people was... You know, talking like they was going to go from the bottom to the top with each other. Somebody, if somebody is pregnant, somebody might end up having to, you know, have like a healthy and a healthy co-parenting relationship with somebody or something. That may, you know, have to be what's being built or somebody has a healthy co-parenting relationship with somebody out of these three people. Somebody was getting love bomb. We have stalker, creeper, intimidation, control. Yeah, these people were supposed to go to the bottom from the top together. But somebody lied about everything. Somebody might end up going to jail. Somebody gonna end up going to jail.
So it's, it's, it's a time for you. It says here, you ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage. So, somebody must have been, uh, let's see. <laughs> Hold on. Was, was that message for me? Somebody was watching my videos trying to mock. Yeah, and they they within this read. That's this is what they got going on. <laughs> y'all need to quit it. Why can't y'all just learn how to enjoy the show? I knew this was something, and I was sensing that, but I just kept going with the read, and I wasn't saying nothing. But I knew this was some other shit. I knew it. I felt it. You ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage. Busy bone. I love that clip when he be saying that. I wonder, can I, I'm gonna have to look for it. And I'm gonna put this clip in the description if I end up finding it. But I liked his, uh, his quote. But since you other ugly motherfuckers want to mock somebody, you know, in the background behind the scenes, like it ain't gonna be known. I told y'all the divine sees and knows all and hears all. So if y'all in the background trying to mock me and trying to play, yo shit will end up across this table as well. And look at you in the background, ugly as fuck, trying to mock somebody, but motherfuckers getting played, cheated on. <laughs> y'all need to be worried about that shit. Instead of in the background trying to mock me and shit. That's what the fuck y'all need to be worried about. Getting played by a whore. Or if it's the whore fucking in the background mocking, now you shit on the table. You ugly ass whore. You about to go through a spiritual storm with your tainted ass heart. Try again. Ugly as hell talking shit. Somebody was blackmailing somebody or trying to devastate somebody so they can get married to him with this wedding. Do it for the kid or the kids. But they a damn cheater. Fuck out of here. <laughs> a damn cheater. Soulless. Soulless being with soulless eyes. You don't give a fuck about nothing. Somebody with a good heart could have followed the road less traveled. Opted out for a lifestyle change. Okay, somebody, oh yeah, somebody with a good heart want to follow the road less travel. They think about moving out. <clears throat> to be in bliss. Not the gremlin in the back talking shit. They want to be in bliss and build with somebody else that's, that, that they see that is uh, wifey material that love they sell. And your ugly ass about to probably get left. Somebody could have been doing, we have LGBTQ love only for money. Somebody could have changed their diet. Somebody wants somebody to support and empathize with that. Yeah, be proud of yourself. Karma got it. Jail. So somebody karma is going to jail. Somebody going to be broken hearted. Mm -hmm. Somebody going to be uh, broken hearted. Going to end up being a single father. It says here, somebody with a pure soul, somebody got a pure soul. They're right where they belong behind your ass and do not comfort who harmed you. So somebody could have been a selfish lover to somebody who had a pure soul. Don't comfort who harmed you. They in they, they get in a damn karma. So don't even comfort they ass. They right where they belong behind you. You could be focused on newness. This was a beautiful mess here. You, yeah, you're a treasure. You with this, uh, you're a treasure with this, um, pure heart.
somebody heartless. How could you be so heartless? Mm, we got love heals too. Time for something new. Somebody want to talk about it. Somebody got another woman pregnant. How could you be so heartless? Well, this is the message because an ugly motherfucker in the background mocking somebody. <laughs> I love it. And I love that I'm loved. Okay. For sure. Let's see. Somebody was threatening their own life. Uh, I really wouldn't end my life if you left. That was manipulation. So somebody had a nerve to be like, oh, I'm going to kill myself if you leave. Oh, i do it. i jump. Somebody was doing spells to make somebody want them or to keep them tied down. Yeah, we have sorry. I, I don't like the same sex. So somebody wasn't really even into that for real. That's what came up. Somebody feel like nobody can stop them. They'll get away with whatever. Somebody was only talking to somebody for get back, supposedly. I chose her because I thought the grass was greener. Yes, oh, look, Black Widow life insurance. Somebody better uh, be careful. Somebody messing with a Black Widow. It says here, I catfish you because I'm afraid of rejection. Somebody messing with a Black Widow. They'll probably kill your ass for that insurance money. <laughs> They're a big ass narcissist. They will kill you for that insurance money. So if somebody took out an insurance policy on your ass, you better look into that. Cause that bitch will kill you to get that money for she let you leave. This bitch a big narcissist. Or if it's the man doing that, that motherfucker a big narcissist. I don't care who doing it. But y'all better be careful with that shit. Somebody was sent to destroy somebody. Look, I hurt myself if you leave. I do it. I swear I do it. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody is embarrassed by the actions and the hurt. Somebody's embarrassed by their actions and the hurt that they cause. Anything else? Yep, somebody was pretending to like somebody. Somebody chose another dude because they thought the grass was greener. They was getting gaslit. And somebody about to have some type of separation, breakup, or divorce. And somebody was trying to spiritually break somebody, but they way too strong. So that's what's going on there. Just be careful about them insurance policies because the, the things that people... For the love of money. The things that people do for that money. The signs we have here between this woman that's in this higher form of commitment, this cheating, her, her side lover and herself. We have um, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I never bunched them up like that. We got Cancer. We got Pisces. I could be the Pisces in the mix too because you know they mocking and shit. <laughs> we got Aquarius. Um, but there could be a, a Pisces involved in this too, y'all. We got Aries, we got Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Y'all think I done about named all the signs because we also got uh, Libra and Gemini. So, them the signs of the people involved here. We're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. Yes, it is. It's always 
always something to be grateful for. Yahshua will keep you from all harm. All harm. Even if somebody talking smack in the background. It says here, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well do I know it? Wait patiently for Yahshua. Be brave and courageous. The voice of Yahshua is powerful. The voice of Yahshua is majestic. Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. Yahweh heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So if anybody is hurt from this situation, you can turn to the divine. And the divine will help you, assist you, guide you, love you, and love you and build you up. No matter who you are, no matter what you did. I'm talking to all parties, everybody. It says here, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. Yahweh will guide you always. Gratitude to Yahweh makes even a temporal blessing, a taste of heaven. I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.